our project is ready on microorganisms and before we start let me tell you all that I have provided this picture of the microscope uh, in the description box below so if anyone wants it they can download it from there and now without any further delay let's dive into the project so here it is project on microorganism so when we turn we come to the contents page and then coming to page number one here we have started with the definition of microorganism that the organism which can be seen with a microscope are called microorganisms or which cannot be seen with a naked eye or unaided eye and which requires a microscope the organisms are called as microorganisms or microbes now where they live so they live all around us they are ubiquitous they can survive in cold to hot weather or in dry to wet land also found in animals plants and humans now coming to the major groups there are four major groups consisting of bacteria protozoa algae and fungi now there's also a group of virus but since virus remains dormant outside the host cell and multiplies only when it is inside the cell so virus is kept separately now starting with the first microorganism that is the bacteria so it is the oldest and commonest it is unicellular prokaryotic that is it don't have nucleus they have the cell wall now they are found everywhere that is soil water radioactive waste earth's crust even the volcanic vents and also in plants animals and the human bodies they reproduce by simply splitting into two this is called as binary fission some are autotrophic that is they can make their own food from light and others are heterotrophic now example of bacteria is lactobacillus mycobacterium vibrio cholerae and the diseases they cause in humans like mycobacterium causes tuberculosis and vibrio cholerae causes cholera now bacteria can be found in many shapes but the four most common shapes are the spherical which are called cocci then the rod shaped bacteria which is called a bacilli then the spiral shaped bacteria called as spirilli and comma shaped called vibrio so after the bacteria we come to the next microorganism that is the protozoa now these are animal like microorganism they are unicellular 
eukaryotic that is they contain the nucleus they lack the rigid cell wall and so they can take up any shape as can be seen with amoeba now they live mainly in water and damp places they can be free living or parasitic that is living on the animals plants or human bodies so some are autotrophic prepare their own food and others are heterotrophic that is depend on others for food now the examples of protozoa are the plasmodium species that is plasmodium malariae plasmodium vivax which causes the malaria then amoeba causing amoebiasis also most species have cilia pseudopodia and flagella which helps in their movement now here i have drawn the diagram of amoeba then after protozoa comes the next microbe that is the algae it is the simplest and the non flowering plant it can be unicellular or multicellular eukaryotic that is it contains the nucleus they have the cell wall they mostly live in the aquatic habitat they are autotrophs that is they make their own food by photosynthesis because they contain the pigment called chlorophyll in them then the examples are diatoms seaweed chlamydomonas and here i have drawn the diagram of chlamydomonas then the coming to the fourth group that is the fungi now they can be unicellular or multicellular eukaryotic containing nucleus have cell wall they prefer warm and moist places to grow they are heterotrophic that is depend on others for food and also saprophytic that is they feed on the dead plant and animal material now the examples of fungi are mushroom mold yeast then aspergillus which causes aspergillosis in the humans and the candida species causes candidiasis so here i have drawn the diagram of the mold the aspergillus and the penicillium now coming to the last microbe that is the virus this is the smallest it requires electron microscope to see these are not the cells but they exist as dna or rna particles they are enveloped within the protein shell they don't have cellular organelles like uh, like the golgi apparatus the mitochondria are not present in these uh, virus particles they behave like non living particles outside the host cells and reproduce only when they are inside the host cell the examples this is the must nowadays it's caused the pandemic all over that is corona virus causing covid-19 disease in the humans then the hiv virus causing aids hepatitis virus causing hepatitis that is the liver disease so here i have drawn the picture of the corona virus then at the last we come to the benefits of microorganisms so bacteria like lactobacillus helps in making curd from the milk fermentation by yeast helps in making bread cakes idli dosa dhokla and alcoholic beverages then mushroom and red algae are edible the first antibiotic penicillin was prepared from the fungus called as penicillium then some antibiotics b complex tablets and the human hormone that is insulin can be prepared from microbes microbes are also used to make vaccines now the rhizobium bacteria and the blue green algae living in the nodules of the gram and the pea plant they absorb the atmospheric nitrogen converts it into nitrate which is a natural fertilizer for the plants and thus they enhance the soil fertility then coming to the eighth point that is most of the oxygen in the atmosphere is released by the algae they also consume huge amount of carbon dioxide and thus they help in our ecosystem the ninth point is microbes helps to keep our environment clean by decomposing the dead matter then some bacteria helps in treating sewage and produce biogas from the waste so this was all about microorganisms do let me know in the comment box about the project if you like the video give me a thumbs up do share the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more such videos till then this is amrapati signing out happy learning microorganisms and happy growing up with your loved ones